Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Judy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely purse decoration. I enjoy doing it and I hope you do. Let's get started. So these are the supplies we're going to be using for our project. Let me go over them with you. We're going to be using the acrylic yarn and it's the four medium in green and we're going to use it in orange. And to go along with that, we're going to be using the sewing thread in the green and orange and that's to match our yarn that we're using we have our two hook size and they're the e4 and it's the 3.50 mm the next one is the usf and it's five it's the 3.75 mm a little bit of stuffing we have our yarn needle our sewing needle, our stitch marker, and we have our scissors. So these are the supplies we're going to be using to make our purse decoration. So let me show you how we're going to do that. We're going to start by making the leaf first and the hook size that we're using is the USF5 3.75 mm. We have to make two of them. So I'm going to show you how to make just one. And first we have to make for round one 10 chain so we have to start with a slip knot stitch this is how I do it and there's many ways to do it so do it the way you're comfortable with please so I take the yarn just drape it over my two fingers and let it fall in the back I take my hook and insert it in the middle and pull up and I have a little loop on my hook and I just tighten it up and there you go so now 10 chain chain is just to take the hook and yarn over and pull through from the previous loop we had so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and remember to keep a track of how many stitches you have so now the second round it's called we do it on what's called our right side so the second chain from the hook it won't be this one but it would be this one we're going to put one single crochet right in there and now for the following seven chains we're going to do the same thing just one single crochet so you just go into your stitch and then yarn over so you have two stitches on your hook and then just yarn over again and pull all the way through and that's a single crochet so we have two three four continue working till you get seven and I'll show you what to do next so now we're at our last stitch so in our last stitch we're going to put three single crochet one so yarn over and then yarn over again and pull up so that's two one more yarn over and pull up so it's three single crochet into that same stitch now we're going to be working in the opposite side of it because this is the right side facing us and this is the back so we're going to work on the opposite side so now the opposite side of our chain, we're going to put one single crochet into the six stitches. So let's get started here. We put one and I like to hide the little tail a little bit. So I just take it and wrap it around and then pull up. So you still have your two strands on your hook and then pull through. You're still doing your single crochet. So that's one. Next one. You don't have to do this to tuck the tail in, but I, I do it. So that's two. And three. So keep on working till you get your six stitches. So now we did our six single crochet. So we chain three, one, two three 
and we turn our work. So now we're going to be working in the back of our work and it, we're going to be working continuously now in the back post. So before we were putting our stitches like between here, that's for the single crochet, but the posts are up top of our project. So we're going to be working in the back. This one is the back. We're not going to be putting it here. That's considered a front stitch. So for round three, what you're going to do is skip the first stitch. So the first stitch will be this one. So we're going to go here and we're going to put one single crochet into six stitches. So remember back loops only. Here's our back loop. It's two back loop, three, we'll do one more with you, and that's it. So continue working till you get your six, and then I'll show you what to do next. So now we did our six single crochet, now the next stitch we're going to put three single crochet and then the back post. So that's one, two, three. So it's into that same stitch. Now the following six, we're going to do one single crochet. So one, back post only, two, continue on till you get your six and I meet you there. So for completion of round three, we have to do our three chains. So one, two, three. So now for round four, what you're going to do is turn your work because we're repeating round three and we're going to repeat round three four times because we're going to do it for round four, five, six, and seven. So it's the same thing we did for round three. So you skip your first stitch and remember back post only. So we put our first stitch into our second stitch and it's just a regular single crochet, but back post. So we're going to do it six times. So continue working six and I'll show you what to do again. So now we're at finish the six single crochet. The next stitch, we're going to put three single crochet into that same stitch. So that's one, two, and back down into that same stitch, three. And then the pattern is six single crochet till we get to the end. So just continue working with that. One, and remember back post on it. So keep a track of how many you do. And I meet you at when you completed the six. So keep on working with that. So now to complete round four, we're going to do our three chains. One, two, three. And we turn it and then we start round five. So remember for the round five and six and seven, you're doing the same for round three, what we did, that pattern. So remember just again, back pose, skip the first stitch, six, and then seven, you put three and then six and then turn. So do that for round five, six and seven, and I meet you back when you finish with round seven and let you know what to do next. Okay now, so for completion of round seven, we do our three chain, one, two, three. And we turn and like we've been doing previously, we skip the first stitch and we go into the second back post. And we're gonna do one slip knot stitch there. So how you do that is just yarn over and you got to pull all the way through the next yarn loop that we have. And there you go. That's your slip knot stitch to hold it together. But again, to close off, because we're finished with our leaf now, to close off our project, I do one chain. And this just to hold everything and not to lose our project to come undone. So I give it a little tail. And then I'm going to cut it so that we could weave it in. I'll show you how to do that. So just make a little tail 
and we're going to weave it in. We're going to put it together, the leaf. Okay, so this is the way I do it for me to hide my little tail that I have. So we're going to go this way when we turn our project around. So I go into the, the two loops of like if we're doing a single crochet. So I go here and I just pull it. Give it a little tug. So that's how it looks. And then I just weave it back through the next one like I'm doing single crochet. But I'm just trying to hide my tail as best as I can. The next one I just go through different, weaving in differently so the different stitches so it doesn't come undone. So just keep on hiding it as you go along and then of course we have the part that we did from our first hiding our first tail that we had I do I just pull it a little bit so I don't cut my actual work and then cut it and then pull it so there you go and that's our leaf so remember just keep on working with hiding the other part and I think it came out pretty nice they look very good so the next what we're going to do is do our little berries. Now we're going to be making our berries and we're going to be changing our hook size to the E4. It's a 3.50 mm. We change our color of our yarn to the orange. And for the berries, we have to make seven. So I'm going to show you how to make one. So round one starts with an adjustable ring. This is how I do my adjustable ring. So once again, feel free to do it the way you like. I take my yarn and I drape it over my two fingers, let it fall in the back, put my hook between two fingers and pull up. So now I have a circle and I have a tail and I have one loop on my hook. So to work with the adjustable ring, you make one chain and that holds it together. You could adjust your tail a little bit, but don't pull it all the way through or lose it because we're going to do that at the end. So now the pattern called for us to put six single crochet into our adjustable ring. So here we go. So go down into your circle, yarn up and then yarn over and pull through so that's one and since we're going to be working in a spiral or a circle this is where we use our stitch marker we put it here in our first stitch and we keep on moving our stitch marker up whenever we go to the new row so we don't lose our spot and remember to keep a track of how many stitches you have so that was one and two so that was two, yarn over and then yarn over again and pull through, three. So keep on working around till you get your six stitches and when you get your six stitches, I'll show you what to do next. Now that we did our six stitches, what we do is we pull our tail tight and that's to close up our adjustable ring. And there you go. So completion of round one, you have your six stitches. Now for round two, take out our stitch marker. And that first stitch that we took out our stitch marker from, we're gonna put two single crochet. And that's the pattern we're gonna follow around for round two. Is two single crochet into each stitch from round one. So that's one. Put your stitch marker back in so we don't lose our spot and into that same stitch we put another one another single crochet that's two so the pattern remember is just two single crochet into each stitch around and then at the completion of round two you should have 12 stitches 
So just keep on working around and then I'll meet you back at the stitch marker. So for the completion of round two, you have your 12 stitches. Now round three, take out your stitch marker. We're gonna put one single crochet into that stitch to start round three. Put our stitch marker back in. So for round three, four, and five, we're gonna be doing the same thing. It's just gonna put one single crochet around in each of our stitches. So you should have 12, the completion of round five. So this is the second one. And the third single crochet. So keep on working around. Remember you do it to row five and I meet you there and I show you what to do next. So keep on working around. So now with the completion of round five, what I do before I start round six, I just like to tuck my little tail in. So now for round six, you take out your stitch marker and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do tug the single crochet. So I'll show you how to do it. It's you go down into your first stitch, yarn over and pull up. So you have two loops on your hook then go into this next stitch and then do the same thing by yarn over pull up so you have three strands of yarn on your hook yarn over and you're going to pull across all three so that's your single tug crochet i'll show you a couple more times so that's one and yarn over pull up then next stitch yarn over so three on your hook three loops of yarn pull all the way across so that's two next stitch yarn over pull up next stitch yarn over pull up and pull all the way through those three so keep on doing that and then you should have six stitches on your completion of round six and that's how inside look when I tuck my little tail in I meet you there so for the completion of round six you have your six stitches and what I do again is chain one and this is just to hold the work when I cut the yarn I give it a nice size tail because we got to close up the top of our little berry I'm going to cut it. Just give it a little tug so it stays. Of course, you could take out your stitch marker. And now we're going to lightly stuff our little berries. So now it's lightly stuffed. So I'll show you how to how I weave in the ends to close up the top. I'm just going to get my yarn needle so you can, I could show you how to do it. So now how I do it is in the direction we were going around before, I just take my tail and I use only the back loops of our little berries to weave it in to start off with so I put it in the next stitch that we would have been working in and there see it's starting to close up so back loops that's the one I use
So just keep on weaving it around. What I'm going to do now is actually take the tail and hide it into our work. So I just go out to the beginning of our adjustable ring where we started. Because that's the back. That's our work where we did. And I'm just going to clip that part of the tail. And I just give it a little bit of and the tail disappear inside so it's nicely tucked in and that's our my back looks of my berry so now we're gonna actually sew them on to our leaf but first we're gonna sew our leaf together and then the berries so we get our sewing needle and our thread sewing thread to match our color for yarn so let's get started with that so now i have my needle with my sewing thread i put the little knot in it and what i do is for the leaf when i join it together i tilt it a little bit before i sew it on so i do the back and you're just going to sew it a couple of times and it's at, I guess where the, you would say, I would say the end, not the tips of the leaf, but at the end. Do it a few times. Okay, so this is how my leaf look when I finish doing it a couple of times. It's the back and this is the front. So now what we're gonna do is sew our little berries onto our leaf. So I change my color of my sewing thread to match my yarn. And what I do is I look for the back we know that we actually sewed the back in so it looks different than the actual front of I would say what we started with the adjustable ring so you can see how it looks and go and I place it the first one I place right in the center and I just start sewing it on and that way we know our mark where we could start. So just sew it on as best as you can. And of course, at the end of my, I just put a little knot at the end. I don't pull it all the way through because it will come out. But keep on. And of course, be careful that you don't stick yourself with your sewing needle. So just keep on going around with it. Okay, so that I completed putting on the first one in the center. That's how the back looks so far. So again, find 
our start of her adjustable ring. Make sure it's facing out and place where we sew to close it up on the leaf. So just continue sew them on. This is how our finished product looks. I think it came out pretty nice. This is my back, how it looks. And that's the front. And I just wanted to show you when I sew it onto the bag, how inside of the bag look. So I sew it on over here and that's the inside. And that's what the purse decoration looks like when it's sewn onto the bag. What I did is I've of course, I used the color of the sewing thread to match my yarn, and I went between the little berries so that we won't show from the inside or we won't show from the outside. So I hope you like making this purse decoration with me. I enjoy doing it. So let me know if you like it or even send me pictures of what you use it for, if you use it for bag or something else. But the next time I'm going to show you how to actually make the bag for the next video. So thank you again for watching. Bye!